In the chessboard of modern warfare, strategic bombers are the rooks, powerful, versatile, and capable of delivering a checkmate. They are the long-range chess pieces able to traverse vast distances carrying payloads of devastation. Their purpose isn't merely to wreak havoc, but to serve as a deterrent, a stark reminder to potential foes of the consequences of aggression. They are the embodiment of the phrase speak softly and carry a big stick. In an era where warfare isn't just about boots on the ground, but also about precision strikes from the sky, strategic bombers hold the power to penetrate deep into enemy territories, bypassing layers of defenses. Their presence in the sky sends an unmistakable message, one of power, of strength, and of resolve. Without strategic bombers, a nation's military might is like a sword without a tip, sharp but lacking the decisive thrust. They are the embodiment of a nation's commitment to its defense and to the preservation of peace. Yet, in the vast military landscape of India, a strategic bomber is conspicuously absent. India's Air Force, while formidable, lacks this crucial component in its lineup. Strategic bombers, with their immense payload capacity and extended range, offer a distinct advantage in both defense and offense. Their absence in India's fleet could limit the nation's ability to project power and respond to threats effectively. This is not to say India's military capabilities are not impressive. With a robust selection of fighter jets and other aircraft, the Air Force is a force to be reckoned with. But the absence of a strategic bomber is a gap that cannot be ignored. Recent chatter in defense circles suggests that India may be considering an addition to its fleet. Reports hint at possible negotiations for the acquisition of strategic bombers, signaling a potential shift in India's military strategy. The question then arises, what could fill this gap in India's aerial arsenal? Enter the Tupolev Tu-160, a formidable force from the east. This impressive machine is the epitome of power, precision, and performance. Known as the White Swan, the Tupolev Tu-160 is a marvel of engineering, boasting a top speed of over 2,000 kilometers per hour. With its impressive range, it can strike targets over 12,000 kilometers away without refueling. This strategic bomber's payload capacity is equally astonishing, capable of carrying up to 40,000 kilograms of weapons. This includes both conventional and nuclear armaments, making it a versatile powerhouse on the battlefield. But what sets the Tupolev Tu-160 apart is its stealth capabilities. Its design incorporates features that reduce its radar cross-section, making it harder to detect and increasing its survivability in hostile environments. Regarded as one of the most powerful bombers in the world, the Tupolev Tu-160 is not just a machine, it's a statement of power. Imagine this beast in the hands of the Indian Air Force. Let that sink in. It's not just about adding firepower to the arsenal. It's about a seismic shift in India's military prowess. It's about the Tupolev Tu-160, a strategic bomber that could redefine India's defense strategy. The acquisition of a strategic bomber like the Tu-160 can significantly bolster India's position on the global stage. It's like obtaining the queen in the chessboard of global military power. A strategic bomber in India's hands could mean enhanced deterrence, increased strategic reach, and a robust second strike capability. Moreover, it could solidify the already strong Indo-Russian military ties, a shared platform, a shared vision. This acquisition could be a testament to the decades-long friendship between the two nations, a friendship that has only grown stronger over the years. The Tupolev Tu-160 could be the game-changer India needs, the rook that could turn the tide in the game of modern warfare.